Hello everybody, welcome back to Daily Dictation 87, DD87. It is April 1st. Happy April. Okay, DD87 is a little bit long, but not that difficult. But first we need to go back to DD86. And it's, you guys did a great job. It's about inspiration for the movie director, James Cameron. Let's listen one more time. Look, imagination feeds exploration. You have to imagine the possible before you can go and do it. Not too many problems. Let's start. Look, imagination feeds exploration. You have to imagine the possible before you can go and do it. Pretty short, pretty sweet, pretty simple. Look. Now, what's funny is the word look actually usually means listen. Look. Listen to me. They're synonymous. They mean the same thing. Look! That means look. But look means listen to me. Look. Listen to me. Imagination feeds exploration. Wow, I like that. Three simple words. Imagination, having the ability to imagine something. Feeds, nurtures, encourages, makes possible exploration. People who like to explore, people who want to explore, must have imagination. If you have a lot of imagination, automatically you will want to explore. I think that's true. And it's sad because I remember when I was a little boy, I had a great imagination. I was a pirate, and I was an Indian, and I was a cowboy. I was an explorer, an adventurer. I was like Peter Pan. I had all these games when I was young. And now, my imagination is almost gone. Yeah, I'm getting too old. I need to encourage my imagination. Because with imagination, comes curiosity and questions and then we explore. That's good stuff. Imagination feeds exploration. Beautiful sentence. You, it's not you, it's people. People have to. You, it's called an impersonal you. Not you, but you in general, everybody. You have to imagine the possible. Don't imagine the impossible. Oh, I wish I could win the lottery and have six hundred million dollars. Oh, that's, in, that's impossible. Imagine the possible. I wonder if I could go to the bottom of the ocean. I wonder if I could become YouTube's number one English teacher. It's possible. I'll do my best. Help me. You have to imagine the possible before you can go and do it. So if you just go and do something, you have no goals. You don't know what you're doing. But if you imagine the possible, yes, one day in five years, I will become YouTube's number one English teacher regarding English teacher from northern Wisconsin who has a bald spot on his head. I will be number one in five years. That's possible. Now I can go and do it. So what do I need to do? I need to create lots of useful classes. What about you? Can you imagine something possible for you in five years? Imagine it. Write it down. Leave, leave a response. I imagine myself in five years doing this. 
or, or some other scientific imagination. Imagine something. And once we have the imagination, go do it. Start. Get busy. Just focus on that one thing. Don't worry about the other things. Just focus on the one thing. So my new focus will be becoming the number one YouTube English teacher by 2017, April 1st. Yeah! I will do my best for you to achieve my goal of being number one. Number two would be okay. I'm number one. Now I must go do it. That's it. Nothing too difficult for pronunciation, I don't think. This is this was a tough word. Feeds, feeds, nourishes, uh, encourages, creates. Um, that's the idea. Look, imagination feeds exploration. You have to imagine the possible before you can go and do it. James Cameron has definitely imagined some incredible things. Going down to the Titanic and, and the Avatar movie. Some very amazing things. And now he's doing it. He's do he went down to the Mariana Trench. The deepest part of the earth in the Pacific Ocean. Amazing. Okay. Listen two more times, then we go on to DD87. Look, imagination feeds exploration. You have to imagine the possible before you can go and do it. Look, imagination feeds exploration. You have to imagine the possible before you can go and do it. Alright, DD87 is about a guy. It's an American news announcer interviewing a British guy. Okay, so you got a little bit of American English and then a little bit of British English. Now some people think American English is easier. Some people think British English is easier. Well, you do the dictation and you decide which is easier. Alright, it's a little bit long but it's, it's easy. It's not that difficult. I made it intermediate anyway. So, good luck, and at the end of the video, I will say hello to the new subscribers. Go ahead. Yep, sure. There are a few journalists. What have you seen Karen and Brothers? Run a big careful check, thanks for the forecast before second out on his search trip. Preferred to have been accurately predicted about the cold hot day. The temperature is only up to 60. It's a warm day for this time of year, to be sure. Jack wonder if they're calling in the summer here. Probably not why the umbrellas are. Didn't be able to trust the world service or that company was American. Go ahead. Yep, sure. There are a few journalists. What have you seen Karen and Brothers? Run a big careful check, thanks for the forecast before second out on his search trip. Preferred to have been accurately predicted about the cold hot day. The temperature is only up to 60. It's a warm day for this time of year, to be sure. Jack wonder if they're calling in the summer here. Probably not why the umbrellas are. Didn't be able to trust the world service or that company was American. Go ahead. Yep, sure. There are a few journalists. What have you ever seen Karen Brothers? Run a big careful check, thanks for the forecast before second out on his search trip. Preferred to have been accurately predicted about the cold hot day. The temperature's only up to 60. It's a warm day for this time of year, to be sure. Jack, when if they called in the summer here? Probably not why the umbrellas are. Didn't be with the world service or that company was American. Go ahead. Yep, sure. There are a few journalists. What have you ever seen Karen Brothers? Run a big careful check, thanks for the forecast before second out on his search trip. Preferred to have been accurately predicted about the cold hot day. The temperature's only up to 60. It's a warm day for this time of year, to be sure. Jack, when if they called in the summer here? Probably not why the umbrellas are. Didn't be with the world service or that company was American. So, how was DD87? Pretty easy? Good. Listen again and again if you didn't catch it. Good luck. Alright, new listeners, new watchers. Arcia, Arcia, 84 from Italy. Uh, Grazia, Grazia, I hope that's right. Thank you very much for joining my channel. I saw a picture of your dog. Very cute dogs. I really like dogs. Dogs are so sweet. Thank you for joining my channel. Okay, from Romania, we have Kirkubiu. 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 Kirkubiu 2007 from Romania. Burtsumesk. Burtsumesk. Thank you for joining my channel. Romania, this person is from Brasov. 
Brasov, Brasov, the city of Brasov, which is in the center of Romania. This city, this area is really, really, really old. They have found human civilization or not human, a human camp from 9,500 years before the Common Era. So it's 2,000, 11,500 years ago. Wow. I want to go and see that. That is, that's amazing. Thank you for joining. Once again, Bultsumesk. Bultsumesk. How is my pronunciation? Sorry. From Japan. Domo arigato. Domo arigato. Yes. Per, perbag fidia. Perbag fidia. Perbag fidia. That's not a Japanese. Is that Japanese? Perbag fidia. From Japan. Thank you for joining my channel. From Vietnam. No, no way one. No, no, no way one. Kam ung. Kam ung. Kam ung. Thank you for joining my channel. From Turkey. Mr. Burak555. Five, five, five. Mr. Burak. Teseku Edrim. Teseku Edrim. Teseku Edrim. Thank you for joining my channel. Oh, learning all these languages is difficult, but fun. From Peru. Gracias, gracias, gracias to Bianco. It's six I A N I six I A N C zero, but I'm thinking it's Bianco from Peru, another country with a really old civilization. I want to go to Peru and visit your mountains. Look beautiful. Thank you. More gracias to. Uh, Camo0425 from Mexico. Mexico. Uh, Camo0425, your birthday is April 25th. Well, I hope I remember. And happy birthday. And gracias. Thank you for joining my channel. Shokran. Saudi Arabia is our next person. Powerful 11,800. Powerful 11800. You are powerful. I like that name. From Saudi Arabia, once again, Shokran. Thank you very much. I would love to visit Shokran, I want, or Saudi Arabia. But I don't want the heat, so I must go to Saudi Arabia at night. Yes. Then it will be cooler. <laughs> Give me a time I can go. Okay, and then finally, uh, from Hong Kong. So, Chai Chen. Chai Chen is goodbye. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. But that's Mandarin. How do you say it in Cantonese? Thank you very much to Baby Kikino. Baby Kikino from Hong Kong. Thank you for joining the channel. All these languages is, is very difficult, but very challenging, and I like it. Now, also, I should say that You Cafe had a birthday a couple days ago. So, you cafe, if you're watching now, happy birthday. Uh, happy belated birthday. I hope you had a great time. And, Tomo regato kojaimas. Tomo regato kojaimas. Nandeska. Piru. Gombai. Happy birthday. See everybody.